Congratulations on the victory today. And uh, you were certainly under pressure in the opening 10 minutes from Leicester. David De Gea making some brilliant saves, but a moment of class from you to play Marcus Rashford through for his first goal of the match. Uh, obviously, it's, it's important that David kept our goal saved so you don't concede goals and after we know that at any moment we have we have players that can score goals create to that uh, Marcus is in a, in a great moment we know, all know that uh, we have to to enjoy his uh, his moment and and make and make sure that he, he carry on so it's it's just part of my job i have i have to make them score goals so uh, big 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 saves from david really really good uh, some amazing saves and uh, obviously after we, we get our goal, obviously the first, as you said, the first 10, 15 minutes was really tough. They create a lot, uh, but I think it was more obviously credit to them. But we did a, a lot of mistakes on possession that, gives, that gave them the, uh, the chance to counter us. Makes your job easy, doesn't it, when Marcus makes them runs in behind? You've seen it in Barcelona the other night. With, yeah, with, obviously. When he makes them runs, it's, when, it's good for you, obviously. When you play behind the, this kind of players, it's, it's, it's always good. You know, they have the pace to, to outpace the defenders, yeah. so, and, and they will cause problems. Uh, as I said this many times, you know, sometimes I will, I will miss the passes in behind, or it will be a little bit long, or the defender will take it. But I know it's, it, it's, it's just a question that once, one, mm -hmm. one pass goes through, and I know that he has, he has the capability to, to score goals. And in, in this moment, I have to try even more because yeah. it's, it's his moment, and uh, we have, as I said, we have to enjoy it and make sure that we, we make him carry on this moment. Do you believe you're in a title race? No, I believe we are in a race to win the next game. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, it's a different competition. Uh, but we want to win. Obviously, we all know what this club is about. It's about trophies. Uh, we are we are in the race for um, on on the four trophies that we we can win, and we want to win uh, all of them. Obviously, if we will uh, if we will win or not, it's it's still far away. So, but we have to make our job, win our games. At mm -hmm. the end, we will make the counts. Uh, I was just asking the gents here, and they think he is. But is Marcus Rashford the most informed player in Europe, not just the Premier League, but in Europe? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I watch a lot of games, but probably yes, he's the one that's scoring more goals. Uh, as I said, I just I just want to enjoy the moment because he's being he's being in a great form. He's being helpful to us. Uh, uh, he's, he's enjoying his moment. He's, he's enjoying playing for us. So I think for us, for all the fans, for the fans of football, just enjoy the moment of Marcos and everyone else that is doing well. But for us, it's about keeping the momentum of Marcos because he's doing really well. We, I, 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 I said to him congratulations because he break his own record. Uh, it's something that is important for a player. I know that. Even more when you are a striker or a winger, you want to score goals. He wants to carry on his momentum. We want him to carry on his momentum. But I think most of all, we all want to carry on our momentum as a team. That is most important. And I think Marcos agrees with that. But if Marcos carries is this, this moment, he can help us to, yeah. to carry on our moment too. And of course, because he's a defender, I have to say, more clean sheets this year than the entire of last season. So it's a whole team effort. I want to congratulate you for the victory today. Good luck in this upcoming week. Thank it's you a very big, much. Big week ahead, of course. Good luck next week. Thank you very much. Good, Good luck. luck. Thank you, guys. See you. And we'll see you again soon. Bruno Fernandes then uh, speaking, speaking pretty. I think he, he, he feels perhaps they're in a title race, but he doesn't want to say it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think when uh, he has to sit on the fence a little bit, of doesn't course. he? But, uh, They'll all, be, they'll all be looking in there thinking five points, mm -hmm. obviously got some big games coming up. The way they're playing at the minute, that gap can be bridged very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. He has to say, Dunny, he has to say that he's got to focus on the next game. But, you know, if they win two games and City and Arsenal lose two games, they're the top of the league. You know what I mean? So it, it can change like that, click of a finger. So I, don't really, I think they're in a title race. He knows they are what, as well. What's, yeah. what's it like when a, someone like me, some silly reporter, is asking questions? Yeah. Don't be harsh. <laughs> uh, a very, be short, harsh a very, very short reporter then. <laughs> uh, it's just asking these questions, but in the back of your head, you're thinking, OK, I have to answer it like yeah. this. But in reality, your heart is saying yeah. something else. Yeah, as I say, he's got to say the right things. Obviously, he can't put himself out there to say, oh, yeah, of course we're in a title race, just in because case. social just, media just now. In, yeah, exactly. Yeah. People pick up on everything you say. So he's, uh, he's, they've all got to keep a level head. Listen, they're, they're all going to drop points. They're not going to win every single game. Mm -hmm. But like I say, they've just got to stay in the mix, stay as close to Arsenal and City as they can. There's plenty of big games to come and they've, they've just got to take the key moments.